Hey, what's going on, G-Shock Society? It's your boy, G-Dub, G-Shock Warrior. Three ones coming at you guys live from home because I'm home from school. Semester's over. Summer started. Yeah, buddy. We partying it up. Not really, but we're going to do a lot of stuff this summer. It's going to be a good summer. Good. Nice G-Shock filled. You know how I am on breaks. I go home for breaks and, like, while out on videos. But I owe people money, so I might not be wilding too much. But I'll be wilding a little bit. Um. <laughs> yeah, I saw the parody. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I had to. They talk so much smack here and there. And then you just, once in a while, you just, get, that's it. I can't take it anymore. And then you throw on a 20-minute parody. And then it humbles them for a little bit. So Chris and Danny will probably be a little humble. They might talk about it. But they'll be humble. But I'm um, not. Um, serious note. Nothing we said in the parody was probably true. We didn't pick up a crank at Soho. We picked up a Basel World. Um, this is for a friend of... It's one for one of you guys. One of my subscribers on YouTube. This is for you. SJ, this is for you in Oregon. I know you live 3,000 miles from... Whoa, that was my phone. But I know you live 3,000 miles from Soho. So you're not going to be picking up anything at Soho anytime soon. So I made a trip legit, legitimately to Soho for no other reason but to get this Basel World for him. And some other information for him like the channel islands piece if you don't know what that is find out um yeah and he wants a super too but um money didn't go through in time my macy's has supras and then some so i'm gonna pick him up a supra he's gonna he's letting me do the reviews on these two pieces and then we gonna ship them out to him so that's it that's really all it is g-dub made a trip to soho strictly for sj so here's your white sleeve um we're gonna be really really careful with this watch wash my hands before the review, um, because it's not mine. We're just, you know, hopping, uh, just one of you guys out, because you guys know G-Dub's all about hopping out. But um, G-Shock, 30th anniversary. It's not misspelled if you saw the parody. It's anniversary. It's just, we were making fun of Danny's, not, nothing, Casio. And then the, ba uh, the, the, the back of the box has your model number. Upside down, but it has your model number. It does, nonetheless. Um, DW6930 BS Basel, of course, 83230. Um, yeah, so this is the box. It's a nice, hard leather box. Um, really, really nice piece. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. All right. I argued with my brother hour and 15 minutes on the way home yesterday about this watch. You want to know how I feel about this, this watch? If it were a gift, if somebody said, here, G-Dub, I love you. It's just a whole bag, by the way. Here, G-Dub, I love you. Half this piece as a gift. I would appreciate that they got it to me as a gift. I'd wear it because I wear all my G-Shocks. And it is a nice watch. It's not that it's not a nice watch. It's just when I have the crank, right? And this watch is so... You gotta understand, Basel World is an event. It's kind of like an expo where all watch companies go. And they just... It's kind of like... It's not a car show for watches. But it's all the companies saying, you know, they, they'll pick a theme, they'll put some idea into a watch, and then just make it like, it's kind of like an exhibit of your watches. And this is what G-Shock went with, I think. Don't quote me. But that was, this is the, this watch was made strictly for that event. And I feel like so much more could be done. I know there's little things behind the watch that most people just don't know. But I feel like a lot more could have been done. Was there a reason they went for the, with this design? Maybe. Do I know it? No. Do they? Yes. Do they think it was a good watch? Probably, or else they wouldn't have released it. But this is just my personal opinion on what I feel about the watch. And I'll compare it with the crank so you can see what I see. But with people like me where money's low and, you know, stuff like that, you know, there's so many other nice watches out there that I would much rather get. Like the GA110 AC, the all red, the little bit of orange. I'd love to get that instead. I'd... You know what I'm saying? Like, Initial Blue. I never picked up an Initial Blue. I'd love to pick up an Initial Blue. Soho's um, limited Soho pieces. I'd love to pick up a limited uh, Soho piece. Just because it's, you know, like, Soho, NYC, like, Eric Hayes designed it. All that good stuff. This is a nice watch, yes. But I, myself, you know, I'm not a collector. I, I mean, I am, but I wear my watches. So it's like, I'm going to find watches that I wear. Not, well, I'm not going to have two watches that look identical. You know, and I understand the meaning. It's the Basel World piece. Like, this is... it. It's it's something. It's special, yes. But it's like, I feel like it also could have been done better. 
no disrespect to anybody at G-Shock or anything, but like some of us are poor. We don't have all that kind of money, you know. So yeah, this is a, this this is the, the the box. It's a beautiful box. Like it says, um, thirtieth anniversary. It comes with a commemorative coin. I'll flip the coin for you guys. Um, in here you have the manual for the thirty thirty two thirty module, and then your warranty card. It comes wrapped in this wax paper sleeve. Um, really nice. It keeps the watches um clean away from dust, especially with this um like polished look that this watch has. Really really nice. Yeah, I like it. My NV came in it. Um, but here's your watch, DW6900, DW6930, because it's 30th anniversary, BS for Basel, and there's your watch. Um, what is there to say about it? It does kind of remind me of the DW6900 CB8, which is the, um, bright silver with the pink inside, um, but it's slightly different, I feel like the... I feel like the sparkle on this paint is a lot more visible. It's a lot more dense. Like, it's like full sparkle. It's not silver with um, silver on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not silver with sparkle. It's like a sparkle paint. But um, chrome G button, really nice. Um, negative display. See the polished look. It's hard to explain, but, like, when the light hits it, I guess you can kind of come up with whatever you think that looks like. Um, metal band guard. Three stars since 1983. Right there. Um, it's closed shut on the back, so it's a legit metal clasp. It's nice. It's covered in plastic, so you don't scratch it. Um, here's your buckles. Normal stainless steel buckle. Um, this is your tag. G-Shock, of course. Normal tag. Everybody has seen this. The back says Casio DW6930 BS8, retail US 150. I thought it was 160 yesterday. It's actually 160, 150. So, sorry about that. Um, of course, the floating Casio shock resist has to be pointed out because if I don't, then some people will yell at me. But the Casio shock resist is floating. If my camera chose to focus, I could show you guys. But it is floating, as you can see right there. It's actually in the crystal. It's not on the display. Um, it has all the writing that a normal 6900 would have, which is also good. I like that. Um, I'll kill the flash real quick. Show you guys the backlight. Here's my shadow. Normal, teal-looking-like backlight. Really nice. Um, bring the flash, the flash back on. You see the 30th anniversary... Um, Backplate Casio 3230 DW6900BS. It's a nice watch. Don't get me wrong. There's, I'm not complaining. But like I said, you know, price is kind of high. And even though it comes in the leather box, it's more of a collector's item, not a wearer's piece kind of thing. You know, wear this. You might as well wear the crank. Um, I'll compare it with the crank if you'd like me to. That's the reason why the crank is right there. I personally like the crank better, and I feel like if you have the crank, there's no reason, if you wear your watches, there's no reason to get the ba the basil, not basil, it's not basil, guys, it's not something you put in your cooking, but, um, yeah, there's a difference, um, the basil is lighter, um, of course, this has the chrome button that the crank should have had, but it didn't, um, vanguards are different, <laughs> It's it's a really nice watch. It is, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the crank just does... I don't know, there's just some, something about the crank, I guess. But, um, yeah, it's a nice watch. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like the crank trumps it a little bit. And then here's your Eric Hayes. Um, All Eric Hayes have the same silver paint. So you, use, you see one, you see them all. But, um, and then we can compare here. And you can obviously see the two paints are different. So, yeah. so that's my input on the Basel world. Beautiful. Be meh. Yeah, well, I'm going to call it a beautiful watch because it is. It is a beautiful watch. It's just, it was just not, it didn't wow me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't, mm, like, wow. You know, when I see some watches, I'm usually like, wow. Like, I saw the Mason Martin Monagella and I was like, wow. Crank, wow. Like, 
some of your pieces lately have been wow. But I just didn't think this was one of those pieces. Um, I was at Soho yesterday. Shout outs to Tyler and Jay. They were both there. Um, very, um, very, very humble people. Very, a lot of hospitality when you go to Soho. It's a beautiful place to be. Um, shout outs to their, to Jay's job on the exhibit upstairs. He changed it all up. Wall has different pieces on it. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. There's a play clause in it now. All the LRGs are on the wall. Um, couple frogmen. There's a hote in there. Maharishi, of course. Both the aqua teens are on the wall now. Not the aqua teens. Both the adult swims are on the wall now. Sorry. It's just a beautiful place to be. If you haven't been to Soho, you have to go to Soho. It's, you know, it's G-Shock paradise for us, you know? So, um, yeah, that's the Basel world. I gave you guys what I think my aspect of the watch is. You see G-Shock and Silver up top. But well, while we're on this t topic, um, again, if you saw the parody, you know that we did talk about this. This is the Ayako X Slingshocks collab. This is the bubble it came in. It's kind of like when you're playing Trouble. You're like, boop, 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 and then you move the pieces. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, this is Ayako. That's his artwork. Um, Ayako right there. This is his custom Slingshocks collab. There's only 250 pieces made. I'm still, I think there's still some out there. So go to that, the slingshocks.com, pick one up. Um, go to miguelayaco.com if you haven't to learn about who he is. He's a Portuguese um, artist. Really, really awesome work. He's kind of like a role model of most of us. You know, me, Chris, Danny, Guns. We respect his work a lot. Guns actually based his new shop on a lot of Miguel Ayako's work. But um, this is the slingshot right here. I put it on the rose gold, as you can see. Um, it looks really, really nice. Um, it kind of has like that rigid look to it. It says slingshot on the buckle. Slingshots are really nice. This is actually my first one. Really nice quality. You see a yako at the end of the band, and then what would say a just split reset and all that says um. Show you guys right now. Nerd swag, cool kids. So. Yeah, it's really, really nice. If I cut the lights, I can really show you the effects of the Slingshocks X Miguel Yako collab. Kill that light. Kill this flash. And you can see it glows in the dark, which is really, really nice. Um, it was a good touch. Really awesome. It's really bright in person. You can make shadow figures with the light from this. You might not see it much for the camera, but it glows really, really nicely <laughs> all around. Really nice. So, uh, your boy G Dub, coming at you guys with a vid. Thanks, Crispy, for the slingshots. My brother from another mother, We're working on some stuff right now. Might be big. So, keep an eye out. Like I said, your boy G Dub's home for break. So, look out for videos from me. If you haven't checked out my channel on a computer, not on a mobile phone, on the computer, Star Remix, there's a video. Of their photo shoot in London that can only be seen on a computer. So go to your computer, look up my channel, go to recently added, go to um, uploads. And before this one and before the parody, there's a Star Remix um, feature video. Watch it, it's a great video. It shows you guys that Star Remix, they are human, like they make custom pieces like I've never seen, but they are human. They're guys, they like basketball, they like Jordans, they like G Shocks, they like to hang out, have fun. They're kids at heart, you know? So go check that out for them. Do it for me or them, either one. And check out that video on a computer. You can't see it on mobile because of music and, you know, Google's laws and whatnot. But you can't see it on a computer. So um, your boy G-Dub with the Miguel Ayako Slingshocks and a rose gold in it. Lisbon time to match um, Miguel's. But um, So it's actually 8 o'clock at night there. So shout out to Miguel Yako, a uh, Yako. Shout out to that little thing of ours. Shout out to all the TCF. Um, we have some things coming up, so you might want to see that. I I know I'm gonna have a couple more reviews for you guys, but SJ, this will be headed to you as soon as I get the super. When I get the super, I'll put it together. Oh, along with some other stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, did, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh man, I hate 
hate not having stuff ready for videos. Oh, that's what happens when you just get home. Your, your room looks like a wreck. And stuff and whatnot. And I can't find what I'm looking for. I think I did I? No, it ain't over there. Oh man, I want to show you guys something, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Wait. No. Sorry right, guys, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. <laughs> But SJ, um, this is going out to you. Shout out to everybody in the thing of ours. Shout out to TCS. Shout out to all the people I usually forget. Shout out to everybody in the UK. Let's start with the UK. Star Remix, Mike Hughes, Archie Baker, Jay Soriano, Boney Bab, Tim, of course. Um, and then all of G-Shock, Philippines, Malaysia, Japan, Singapore. Can't forget them. And then here, everybody here in the States, you know, everybody who... Do behind the scenes, but they don't really get seen. Brian Spindler, Scott Bernie, Jose Hernandez, DJ Fitzgerald. Shout out to Kevin. Kevin in New Jersey. Yeah, buddy. Shout out to everybody that has to do with G Shock Soho. Tycho, Tyler, um, Shay, Corey, Phyllis, Chris, of course. Um, yeah. And then, you know, you know who you are who you are. Tori, of course. And can't forget anybody. Shout out to Triple A. I get yelled at whenever I forget them. Check out their playlist on my channel. Your boy G-Dub is signing off with the Basel World, the Miguel Yako Slingshocks. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it. And yeah, like I usually say, don't follow your dreams, chase them. And I'll holler at you guys later. All right, there'll be more of me. Check out my channel, Star Remix video. Peace.